things can be entirely different than what you've seen in the past. It's a really good job of execution by them. Elliott now to kick this one away. This will be taken in at the one. And he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, they'll start this drive at about the... Seven yard line. Scott looks to throw on first. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. Derek Barnett in there to bring him down for a loss of seven. Prescott now on second down. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield across the 45. A very solid gain of 27. And let's face it, that what we just saw there, not a surprise, is it? I mean, this is what he does well. And if you don't tackle him as soon as he catches the ball, <laughs> this is the end result. Big yardage after it. Got the speed, the agility, so good with run after catch. And we're only in the first quarter, so they better get a wrangle and a hold on that quickly. Yeah, you're exactly right. And what's really difficult to try and defend him is if you want to press him so that you get him on the ground quickly after the catch, a lot of times he'll just run past you at the initial point of contact and he'll go deep. And down to the 36-yard line here. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down. A second down throw for Prescott. And he fires one incomplete. The target that time, Michael Thomas, and it's third and short. But when you're going up against a talented receiver like that, you just know that they're going to bring more people to him, right? They've got to double cover him every chance they get. I think that that is what we're going to see all game long, an early taste of that double, maybe even sometimes triple coverage we might see. Yeah, I think what they're counting on, his talent to sometimes beat that double coverage. Short yardage, Prescott eluding the pressure right. He may try and run for this. Only able to get back a yard for his efforts, and that leads us to fourth down. Yeah, not much there that time, and I think we were both wondering once he got out of the box whether he just throw the ball away, and he winds up only picking up a yard or two. Would have been right at about a 52-yard field goal try, but no, they are going to go for this thing on fourth down. And the wideout in motion. Now Prescott on fourth down. And he's able to find Diggs. So he fought off the tackle, and that effort gives him the first before he's brought down. It's an eight-yard pickup, and on fourth down, they're able to convert and move the sticks. And the back goes into motion. First down, Prescott. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Well, it doesn't take any great analysis. No jokes, partner, okay? All right, on this one. But we just know that we're going to see this as the game moves forward. There's going to be two guys on him on just about every snap. It's kind of a dare to throw his way, but they have to keep throwing his way. The benefits could be great. You throw it to a great receiver, he could come down with it anyway. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs.
fresh set of downs here. They run it again with Kamara. And power running here down to the six-yard line. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. That's a strong pickup right there on first down, and as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. On second down, Kamara, and this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. He lost two there, and it's third down. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable, and you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to say? Play action. Yeah, without a doubt. I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? No, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. He can run for it, and he will. Three yards on the keeper, and it's fourth down. We've seen this offense go for it on fourth down already on this drive. I wonder if they'll go for it again. They certainly wouldn't rule it out with these guys. No move to get the offense off the field here. They've converted once on this drive on fourth. They'll go again and try it once more. Here we go with Kamara. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. A great play there. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Saints, if they convert the extra point, they'll have the lead. And he's able to put it through. Lutz now to kick this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And out now come the Eagles. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. He's going to float this one deep right side. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Well, I guess we just discovered that someone is certainly not going to sit back and just take it in this game, huh? No, they were trying to get that touchdown back in one shot. One shot, trying to help out his defense and let the other team know they were coming after him. try again on second down and the hit jarred it loose it's incomplete it's a lot of contact going on there and in the end unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body everything looked pretty good until the finish our first update now comes from Atlanta and it's the NFC champs the Falcons that have moved down to an early advantage Devontae Freeman, a first quarter touchdown there. So a third and 10, and defensively, a dime look, six DBs. Hurry up, here we go. Green, 39. All right, now, look at 56. Look and it goes in motion here in the backfield. Throwing his Mahomes on third. Open man has got one. It's complete. A gain of 32 that time. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass on the first drive and comes right back and 
He's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him. And I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. Now Mahomes throwing on second down. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Well, he kind of forced that one there, didn't he? It's almost like he predetermined where he was going to go with the football. Yeah, he wasn't really going through progressions. He wanted to go to his top guy. You do that against this defense, they'll make you pay, won't they? Yeah, they certainly will. They react very quickly to the thrown football. Capability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. When they watch film of this game and hand out the grade sheets, he's back live with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. It's the Eagles with the ball here to begin quarter number two, and they're on the move here. They've got it first and ten. Second down, here's Mahomes. Over the middle, the catch by Coleman. That one good for 17 as they're set up better now for third down. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. Mahomes to throw on third and one. Steps away to his left. He can run for it, and he will. When in doubt, do it yourself as he keeps it for three and a first down. That was an excellent job of recognizing the situation. His first read wasn't there. Heck, his second read wasn't there. But he bought himself a little extra time scrambling out of the pocket, got to the sticks, and picked up the first down. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. And his throw is going to be incomplete. The positioning here is key. As a defensive back, you're taught 99% of the time make a play on the football. But in this case, making a play on the man was all the difference. That's what forced the incompletion. And the seemingly endless drive continues. again here on second and ten flushed out right gonna throw deep for the end zone so the long attempt falls innocently to the ground and it brings up third they're going for a receiver there already has one touchdown of this first half a second one not to be I like where their headspace is though I mean I really like the thought process right you got a guy who's already scored one right you want to go back to him continue the hot hand and make them adjust to you defensively I like what they were trying to get done, even though they weren't successful. This offense was on the move. Now two straight Let's incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Coleman. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. Go 
Adams going to go on fourth down. Buying time to his left. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. The Eagles unable to convert there on fourth. And the Saints will have the football back. 